Osisco Mining is proud to present the Windfall Gold Project. The world-class Windfall Gold Deposit is in the province of Quebec, Canada, approximately 425 kilometers north of Montreal, in the Nord du Québec administrative region. The Windfall Project is also located within the territory covered by the James Bay and Northern Quebec Agreement and within the traditional territory of the Cree First Nation of Weswanapi on trapline W25B. Osisco is exploring in this area due to the presence of 2.7 billion year old gold bearing volcanic rocks. The area is accessible by road all year round. An electrical network is present in the area and a 120 kilovolt power line will be built between the Labelle sur Cavillon substation and the windfall site. There are two airports in the vicinity, one in Labelle sur Cavillon and the other in Chabougamau Chappé. Hello, my name is Mathieu Savard and I am president of Asisco Mining. Currently, the windfall project employs over 700 people working for Asisco and different contractors. It means that at any time, more than 350 workers live at site on rotation. It also includes more than 100 workers coming from First Nation communities, and this is something we're really proud of. Due to the exceptional result obtained, the project went from an initial 50,000 meter drill program up to a 1.5 million drill program, which make windfall the most active project in Canada and most probably in the world. Since Osisco acquired Windfall in 2015, the amount of ounces estimated almost quadruple, bringing Windfall to the status of the world-class deposit for gold deposit. The majority of the resource estimated is contained within the first 1,200 meters of vertical depth, while we discovered mineralized zone down to 2,600 meters of vertical depth. It represents a strong upside potential. It is really exciting for the future. Concurrently, we dewater and rehabilitate the pre-existing exploration ramp underground and have continued to advance it to its current vertical depth of 500 meters. Two separate 5,000 tons bulk samples were collected and we progressed toward a third bulk sample in tripling zone. Our underground activities are carried out safely, having gone 1,113 days without a lost time incident underground. The future windfall mine site envisioned a 3,100 tons per day underground drill ramp access mine with central processing mill at site. It is also expected to produce an average of 300,000 ounces gold per year at an average diluted grade of 8.1 gram per ton of gold during the first seven years of full production. The after-tax net present value of the project is estimated at $1.5 billion Canadian and the internal rate of return is over 29% using a gold price of $1,500 US dollars per ounce. Even using a conservative gold price, this is a very robust project with a mine of life estimated at 18 years. It represents an initial investment of $544 million, for which we anticipate the creation of 400 direct jobs and 200 indirect jobs during the operation phase, and more than 500 jobs during the construction period. The project will generate 8.2 billion Canadian dollars of gross revenue and 1.7 billion Canadian dollars in taxes. The Windfall project wouldn't be where it is today without the spectacular effort of our workers, our contractors, the collaboration of our First Nation partners, host communities, and various levels of government. To all of you, thank you. The following components currently exist at the Windfall site. A ramp portal and underground exploration ramp a lined waste rock stockpile, an overburden stockpile, a water management system, two ventilation raises, and an exploration camp capable of accommodating 300 people. OSISCO is planning to increase the capacity of the lined waste rock stockpile, the overburden stockpile, the water management system, 
and the camp will be upgraded to accommodate the increase in workforce. The following infrastructure will be added to the mine site. A production ramp, two mineralized material storage areas, a crushing circuit, a processing plant, a tailings facility, roads, and service buildings. Underground mining methods will be used to recover gold mineralized material. Rock that is excavated but does not contain an economic amount of gold is known as waste rock. Waste rock will be stored on a lined stockpile near the production ramp portal. Material from the underground mine will be sent to the plant to separate the gold from the rock. The plant will be processing an average of 3,100 tons per day. The key steps of processing include crushing and grinding of the rock to reduce its size. Water is added and the material enters into the gravity circuit, allowing gold separation from the other particles as its density is higher. Material flowing out off the gravity circuit will enter the leaching circuit where gold will be leached and absorbed on carbon, extracted, and poured as doré. The waste material from the leaching circuit is called tailings and is treated and sent either to the tailings management facility or blended with cement to be used underground as paste backfill. This will reduce the footprint of the tailings on the surface. All water coming into contact with our surface infrastructure as well as water from underground activities will be collected and treated according to rigorous standards. To minimize the amount of fresh water needed for operations and thus reduce the environmental impact, a portion of the water will be reused. A water treatment plant will be built to treat water before releasing it as final effluent. Throughout the project, a gradual revegetation strategy will be applied. At the end of the project, all remaining stockpiles and the tailings management facility will be revegetated. All the buildings, surface infrastructure and equipment will be dismantled and the areas will be revegetated. In the development of the windfall project, we pay special attention to minimize our impact on the territory, biodiversity, water, atmosphere and areas valued by land users. Various strategies are being evaluated to reduce our consumption of energy, natural resources and consumable goods. The connection to the power line will allow the project to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions. The project is subject to the Quebec Provincial Environmental Assessment, applicable to the James Bay Northern Quebec region. We began collecting environmental baseline data on the windfall project starting in 2016 with the help of our First Nations partners. By working with stakeholders, we can address concerns during the project design and commit to mitigation measures. OSISCO has already filed a closure plan and financial assurance in the amount of 5.6 million Canadian dollars with the Quebec government for the existing infrastructure at the windfall site. This plan and financial assurance will be updated prior to mine site construction. OSISCO is committed to keeping stakeholders informed of the project and involved in the planning process. OSISCO meets regularly with the community of Waswanapi, located 70 kilometers north of the project, and strives to incorporate their traditional knowledge into the environmental assessment. Meetings are also organized with residents and officials of the town of Le belle sur kevillon located 115 kilometers west of the project. OSISCO has hiring and responsible procurement policies in place to maximize benefits to the local population. In summary, Windfall is an extraordinary project, recognized as a world-class gold deposit. It represents a unique opportunity for regional development. Windfall will be rolled out in a way that respects local populations and environmental standards while offering a safe and friendly working environment. Please don't hesitate to contact us should you have any questions. Merci. Thank you. Miigwech.